Our next example of how to calculate the amount of heat evolved or released by a reaction is regarding this particular equation here. We have some solid sulfur, two moles. We add three moles of oxygen gas, combine it, and we get two moles of sulfur trioxide. The energy released, or the enthalpy, is minus 791.4 kilojoules for that particular reaction. Now let's say we're limited to 120 grams of sulfur. The question then becomes how much energy is released or evolved with this particular reaction. All right, here's our equation again, so let's go ahead and put in the numbers that we have. So the energy released is equal to the energy of the reaction, or the enthalpy of the reaction, but of course we're going to call that a positive a number because we're looking for the energy released so that is uh, per reaction right so so we have a 791.4 kilojoules released for every reaction now here we're going to put in the ratio that determines the number of moles in the reactant for that reaction in this case we're dealing with sulfur and we have two moles of the sulfur so one reaction contains two moles of sulfur. All right, now we have to account for the mass in our sample. So the mass in our sample is 120 grams. So we have 120 grams of sulfur, and we divide it by the molar mass of sulfur. The molar mass of sulfur is 32.07 grams of sulfur divided by one mole of sulfur. So if we write it out like this, you notice then that all these units cancel out, reaction cancels out, moles of sulfur cancels out, and grams of sulfur cancels out, which leaves us just with numbers and the units kilojoules. So let's go ahead and find out how much energy is released in this reaction, 791.4, divided by 2, multiply times 120, and divide by 32.07. And that leaves us with 1,481. So this is equal to 1,481 kilojoules of energy released in that reaction. So if you follow this methodology, these become fairly simple. Now we have some more examples where we turn the equation around a little bit, or at least the question around a little bit. And so if you want to see some more examples in a different format, stay tuned. I'll show you some more examples.